Okay, this is the GTS 250 by NVIDIA with mid graphic settings in SL. We'll take a look at the settings real quick. It's in stock mid, except for I turned it up to 256 meters draw distance. Our hardware is nothing's on. And we can see the textures render very quickly. Take our little walk up here on our platform. Okay, this time we've logged in with the GTS 250 in ultra mode. So let's take a look at the settings. And we're in ultra. 256 meters draw distance. And lighting and shadows are off. Hardware, we have anastropic filtering on and 8 times anti-aliasing. And we'll let our textures render for a minute.
you can see we're getting 70 or so frames per second here in Ultra. Moving nice and smooth. Not having any troubles with it. Okay, now that we know how it performs in Ultra, let's go ahead and turn on some of the lighting and shading and see what happens. We'll turn on lighting and shadows at first just to begin with. And our frames dropped a little bit. You can see the shadows. getting about 70 we're getting about 40 now now let's turn on our ambient occlusion and we dropped a little bit more Ooh, our avatar doesn't move as well either Okay, let's take a look at the specs for this card for a minute. We're on the NVIDIA web page, and this is the specs for the stock GeForce GTS 250. I have a PNY, but it's basically the same thing. You can see the cores are 128. The stock clock is 738 megahertz. Processor clock, which would be your shaders, is 1836. Mine has one gigabyte of DDR3 with a memory clock speed of 1100. The effective memory would be 2200. Effective memory is normally doubled. And on my card, I overclocked it a little bit. So we're running a GPU clock speed of 775. Memory's at 1240, so our effective rate would be 2480. And I get shaders up to 1860, which isn't a big bump. Here we'll look at some benchmarks for the GTS 250. This is the Lightsmark 2008 benchmark we did on the 9400 GT and as you can see the 9400 GT was I think like 60 or 70 average FPS and this one's about 530 and there's another test you can do that's called uh, 3D Mark Advantage on the 3D Mark Vantage for uh, BFG GeForce GTS, which is slightly overclocked. This would be pretty close to stock. You can see here in the blue, this would be the benchmark that we ran. And there's hit a 6641. This is the card that's in mine right now. I did the same test. You can see here our core clock 775, memory is 1240. And my graphics score was 7149, so I overclocked mine a little bit more and got a tad more out of it, but not a whole lot. Okay, all these tests and everything that we did, like we've said, were on a GeForce GTS 250. And this is an outdated card now. You can't even hardly find them. I think when I bought it new, it was about 180 bucks at Best Buy. If you could find one now, I don't think I would pay more than say a hundred bucks for it just because they're outdated. The GTS 250 runs the same architecture that the 9800 Plus cards did. They run on a G92 chip where if you wanted to update the card for almost the same amount of money 
now they have the GTX 460 and it runs on a GF 104 Fermi chip and so it's a completely different architecture which makes it faster even though the specs look like they're slower so let's take a look at the the stock specs for the GTX 460 it's got a uh, 336 cores versus the GTS 250 had 128. Its clock speed is 675. The shaders are 1350. It's got a uh, one gigabyte of DDR5, and the memory clock is 1800, which the effective speed would be 3600 megahertz. Is let's go here. MSI makes this card in an overclocked version. You can get it from Newegg for 170 bucks. Best Buy has them for about 190. But for this one, they've overclocked it to 780 megahertz. The shaders are 1560, and they left the memory alone at 3600. And the thing is here too, is all of these cards had one gigabyte of memory but they each had a different type of memory. The 9400 GT had DDR2. The GTS 250 has DDR3 which is twice as fast as what DDR2 is. These cards now have DDR5 which is twice as fast as DDR3. So the memory keeps getting faster and faster and faster on them as well. And to compare the same 3D Mark Vantage benchmark for this card We'll go down here to the GeForce GTX. This is just stock, the 460 with one gigabyte. The score is 12,482. And uh, this is stock, whereas this one, they've overclocked the crap out of it, so it would even score better. So if you can afford it, I, I would definitely forget about a GTS 250 and just upgrade to a GTX 460 because it's just a way better card and it'd be easier to find.